Hi there, my name is Felicity and today I'm here to talk to you about intravenous cannulation and learning about cannula colour and size. Now when we need to cannulate a patient, there's a couple of things we really need to think about. And the first one is the colour of the cannula. So identifying what size the cannula is that we're going to use. Cannulas come in different colours to make it easy to find the one you're after at a quick glance. And in our facility, you're going to come across grey cannulas, green, pink, blue and yellow cannulas. Other facilities may have orange or purple cannulas, but we do not use them here. Aside from being able to make picking out a cannula easy, colours have another really important function, and it's size. Each cannula colour is a different size or gauge. And does size matter? You bet it does. So now we know that each cannula colour is a different size, we're going to talk about what they are. So a 16 gauge cannula is grey, an 18 gauge cannula is green, a 20 gauge cannula is pink, a 22 gauge cannula is blue, and a 24 gauge cannula is yellow. Easy said, but this is where things get a little bit tricky. And that's not because that's because a big size gauge or size of cannula doesn't mean it is a big cannula. In fact, it's exactly the opposite. Not helpful. So a 24 gauge cannula is actually the smallest cannula we have, whereas the 16 gauge cannula is the largest. To help avoid confusion with this, it's good to try and memorise the relationship between the cannula colour and its size. So a grey is a 16 gauge all the way down to a yellow which is a 24. So you can see that the biggest cannula here is the 16 gauge and it has the smallest number on the list. Whereas the 24 down the bottom which is yellow it's the smallest cannula, but it's the largest number. This is how it can be confusing. We're going to do an activity where we can look at the different sizes of cannulas. And once you start using them, the size difference will be off obvious. So this demonstration is just to help you solidify the concepts we've been talking about. So thinking about the colour and the gauge and size of the cannulas that we use in our facility. So before I start, I'll just let you know that I've removed the needle from the cannulas and the safety cap. So now they're quite safe to touch and manipulate. When you first come across cannulas, you'll find them in their packaging. And you can see they're quite clearly packaged and labelled according to their gauge and their colour, which makes it easy to identify, particularly when you're in a hurry. Now, this next portion is actually helpful for you to see the actual size of the cannulas because once we insert the cannulas, we only see the coloured portion coming out of the patient, not the cannula that's actually inside the patient's vein. So here we have the grey 16 gauge cannula and you can see that it's quite long, it's quite thick and it's pretty rigid. Now just to compare, we'll jump all the way down to our smallest cannula, which is our 24 gauge yellow cannula, and you can see that it's quite a lot shorter, it's much finer, and it's very pliable. So the differences between the two, you can see, and the more practice you have at using cannulas, the better you'll get at using them and remembering these concepts. So we'll look at all the cannulas we have here. So we started with our 16 gauge grey cannula. We'll move down a size and up a number to the 20 gauge green cannula. 
Now you can see that it's still quite long, it's still quite thick, and it's still fairly rigid. I'm moving down a size and up a number to the pink 20 gauge cannula, which has still got some length, but you can see it's starting to become more fine, and there is getting a little bit more pliable. Now when you move down to the 22 blue cannula, you can really start to see the size difference. So you can see that it's shorter, and it's also starting to get a lot more fine. And you can see that it's super pliable. A lot like our smallest cannula, the 24 gauge yellow, which is short, thin, and super pliable. Okay, the final part of the activity is just to help you put all of this together. So we've got a chart here showing our colour and sizes of cannulas. So we'll start with our biggest cannula, which is grey, and it's 16 gauge. Then we move down a size to our 18 gauge green cannula, then down to our pink 20 gauge cannula, getting to our smaller cannulas now, our blue 22 gauge cannula, and our baby, the 24 gauge yellow cannula. So now that that's all together, I hope you can see that our larger size cannula is actually the smallest number, and our tiniest cannula is actually the largest number. Again, once you start using cannulas, you're going to get better at this. It's just really important to try and remember the relationship between colour and size. So we need to remember colour and size. Grey is 16 gauge, green is 18 gauge, pink is 20 gauge, blue is 22 gauge, and yellow is 24 gauge. I hope that helps. Thank you for listening.